Hey guys, this is Greg Massetti at JTech. Today we're going to take you through doing a injector inspection on this Mac engine. Uh, set up on this Mac engine, we do have a high pressure lift pump that runs our fuel through a fuel pencil right here. So you can see the stainless steel line. And that's going to run the fuel into our injector, which is actually hiding up underneath this cap. Now we do already have the valve cover. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. What we want to do is set some of these to the side, free up our hands. Then we want to go ahead and take our fuel pencil out. Using a combination of our 19 and our 17, we're going to go ahead and get this guy removed. As you can see, these are just slide fittings that hold the line and the fuel pencil onto the pump. Pull this guy on out. Check him out. You want to see if there's any kind of warpage or scratching on that seat. You can see there's some oil in there. Everything looks pretty decent. So we're going to set this fuel pencil to the now side. Now we're back up into the valve train. And underneath this cap right here, as I pointed out earlier, that's where we have our fuel injector hiding on this back. Let's go ahead and get it pulled out. insert it into the top of our injector. Only one side will fit. There we go. Now sometimes these guys lift on out pretty easy. I don't want to be jerking it around inside there. So we've got a breaker bar here, a pry bar. We're just going to nice and gently lift up. And that should break the seal. There we go. Now that we have this injector out of the engine, it's time to check out a few parts on it. We need to check out this O-ring, look for any cracking, splits. That O-ring is really important to create your seal. You want to check out the orifice that the fuel pencil sits inside. As you can see right here, we've had it installed and uninstalled a few times and we've had a few people scratching the end of the fuel pencil. Not necessarily the worst thing that could happen, but it's something to be aware of as time goes on. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to take this all the way down, but doing a true inspection, we want to take this cap off and we want to inspect some of the internal springs, some of the spray pattern that comes out of our nozzle here. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to get it back in the engine for time's sake. Now when putting this injector back into the engine, you have to make sure that your orifice on the injector lines up with where the fuel pencil is coming in. There's also a set pin that should be under here, very small and very fragile. It goes into a particular spot and helps keep the injector lined up. So now that we have that in there, we're gonna come back in gently with our fuel pencil. fuel pencil reconnected here, we can go ahead and put the cap back on our injector, keep it nice and safe in its little housing. Get a few threads started. We're going to go ahead and get this guy on in. And 
and with this cap tightened down and torqued to proper spec, you have removed, inspected, and then reinstalled your injector. Thanks.